Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to talk about an underrated video transition, which is the Additive Dissolve. So if you go over to the Effects Control Panel and open up the Video Transitions folder, you should find in the Dissolve folder a bunch of different useful dissolves. And one that's often underrated, I feel like, or underused, is the Additive Dissolve. Because normally, if you just right-click in between two clips and apply the default transition, that is the cross dissolve, which is also a staple. But if you ever head over to this folder, you can click and drag in different kinds of transitions aside from the default one, such as the additive dissolve. Another shortcut for just adding the default transition as a quick tip is if you highlight the two clips and just press Command D, it will apply the default transition on all the ends. And if you ever want to make anything in the effects folder the default transition, you just right click and set that as the default and you can always set it back to whatever you want and you can see that has the blue highlight on it but back on track if i add the additive dissolve in between these two clips you'll see this little yellow strip of tape appear and right now it has these cross lines across it that just means that the original clip was already at its end and you can also know that by these little white arrows that are on the ends of the clip and so when I add a transition in between, it'll say insufficient media. We'll, we're just going to repeat these frames. Um, basically, it's just saying we're going to just add a still frame after the end of the clips so that they can extend them into each other. It's not actually an error or an issue. You just see once the clip ends, it turns into a still frame and it still fades. But if you're working with selections of clips, not the actual ends, such as this, and you apply it, you'll see that there is more room to go across. So the Additive Dissolve, as you can see, is kind of just like the Cross Dissolve, but it also adds this brightening blending mode between the two clips. So it's a really subtle but useful way to not only do a dissolve, but also a little bit of a brightening flash. And there's a couple different ways you can use it. So just the standard default length is something like that. But if you ever pull on this strip of tape, you can always make the tape further out such as this and you can always stretch it out as much as you need so you can do a really slow additive dissolve and this is like a slow bright burn or you can do a really quick one that just goes right in between the clip and you'll notice in the effects control panel whenever you highlight the transition tape it'll open up the little transition effects control menu so I can move around that little piece of tape so that it's right in between the cut it starts at the end or beginning of either clip and you can pull it in either direction just depending on the clip you're working on where you want it to start and end but if we do a really quick one right in between we get more like this flash additive dissolve so it almost acts like a flash effect and another cool trick in the transition effects control menu is you can choose when you want the a and b clip to begin so we can start the transition from the actual middle point where it's at the brightest, then we almost get this like immediate flash that happens. Almost like a, a camera flash or a bulb flash burning out. So that's another little variation that you can do by going into the effects panel. But this little effects panel is useful for any of these transitions in the video transitions folder. And these same principles of stretching and bringing it in can work for all of these to make either slow or quick transitions. But the Additive Dissolve, I feel, is an underrated, subtle, and very simple, like standard dissolve, but it can, it can add a little bit of spice and flash, literally, to when you need something more, especially for maybe like a music video or a flashy commercial or something like that. So this has just been a quick video uh, highlighting an underappreciated transition, I feel like, and also enjoy those tips about working with transitions. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of my other videos on creating all types of different effects and transitions. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.